So this was a study basically designed to look at the risk of heart dose with radiation therapy as a dose symmetric predictor of overall survival in patients with non-small cell lung cancer who underwent post-operative radiation therapy. This is a concept which has long been discussed and, and the idea being that radiation, despite its positive effects in decreasing disease recurrence, may have some unanticipated negative consequences. Um, and those consequences could be to the heart, they could be pulmonary, um, but the idea is the balance. You know, we certainly wanna treat the patients and decrease their risk of recurrence, but we wanna make sure that we're not hurting them in that sense. You know, as, as many people know, PORT or the concept of post-operative radiation therapy is always hotly debated and, and hotly discussed, even more so now because of the recent lung art study that was presented at ESMO, which showed no benefit um, to post-operative radiation therapy in the early stage setting. That trial did suggest that there was a decrease of disease recurrence, and, and I should say this trial is not yet published, so we're, we're working off of the abstract. But in a somewhat worrisome um, aspect that showed that there were more early deaths, non-cancer related deaths in the radiation arm. This trial sort of picks up, well, not trial, but this description sort of picks up on that idea. And specifically, they look at um, heart related toxicity, cardiac toxicity in patients who undergo radiation therapy. Obviously the heart is adjacent to uh, the mediastinal uh, structures that are getting radiated. And there's many different ways to look at heart dose um, and then to evaluate those. This was a lot really brought on and first came to light after the RTOG 0617 trial, in which a subgroup analysis had suggested a correlation of heart dose with overall survival. That has been studied in many other data sets since then with varying results. Um, some have found that heart dose indeed predicts worse survival, some have found it predicts cardiac toxicity, and some have found really no relationship. Um, but certainly it's a topic which many people are interested in, and it's a topic which has clinical relevance as radiation oncologists are increasingly considering heart sparing techniques, um, heart sparing doses, um, or potentially new methodologies of radiation therapy to decrease the dose to the heart. In this study, uh, the authors found that there was a fairly large variability of dose to the heart. The median uh, heart dose for the population was 11.2 gray. And then when they looked at overall survival compared to above or below that median, they found really a remarkable difference. It was 31.7 months for patients who were above that dose to the heart compared to 57.5 months for patients who were below. Now, obviously this is an association and there's probably many other factors that contribute, you know, what was radiated, extent of disease, aspects like that. But, but that's a startling difference of, of almost 26 months. The volume of the heart receiving eight gray was the most significant variable in their study. Um, and the median overall survival, again, if you split it by that, was 33.2 versus 53.6 months. So again, pretty remarkable difference that held up on the multivariable analysis. I think this just adds um, further uh, data to the discussion about is postoperative radiation good or bad? How can we use it to make sure that we only get the good and not the bad? Um, we know from the lung art study that it decreases recurrence in the adjuvant setting, but we just have to make sure that we're not, it's not coming at the expense of, of increased toxicity.